Ali in my belly. I'm Karen Ahmed and today we're making Ale Belle. Ale Belle is a Goan style coconut pancake. It's actually a crepe that's stuffed with coconut and nuts and it's sweetened with jaggery. Now this is typically served at tea time or as a dessert but my memory of this comes from boarding school. It used to be served at Shrove or Pancake Tuesday, that's the day before Lent starts. I used to wait to get this delicious and sweet snack. Some people put a little bit of food coloring in the ale belles, but either way, it's super delicious. Before I show you how to make this delicious treat, do make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week and also ring the bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. The key to a great tasting ale belle is fresh coconut. Now, of course you can use frozen, but fresh is second to none. I'm also using jaggery. Jaggery is a product of cane juice, dates, or sap. Now it's widely used in many countries for different recipes. The jaggery in India differs by state. This is a typical Punjabi gud or gur. And this darker version is called the Kitul and is made in Sri Lanka and is used in a lot of South Indian dishes. In Goa, the jaggery is made from coconut palm and has a pyramid shape. I'm also going to pound a couple of cardamom seeds and throw this into my mix of nuts. Let's start with the filling. I'm going to add a tablespoon of ghee or butter into my pan. I'm going to roast two cups of coconut. I've grated half my coconut and this was exactly two cups when I measured it. I want to keep stirring this so the coconut turns a light golden brown but does not burn. If you're using frozen coconut, this needs to be properly defrosted and you need to make sure that you squeeze out all of the water. Next, I'm going to add one cup of jaggery. If you can't find jaggery, just substitute a nice brown rich sugar. This will give your filling a toffee-like flavor. Keep stirring as we're looking for the jaggery to melt. Now, if your filling is looking a little bit dry, just add a tiny bit of water. I'm also going to add one cup of mixed sliced nuts. I've added mostly cashews and almonds, some pistachios and a couple of raisins. I also have the cardamom seeds I pounded earlier in this mix. Saute this for a few seconds and leave it aside to cool. While this cools, I'm going to get my batter going. Sift two cups of all-purpose flour. I have three cups of water here and I'm just going to add about a half cup at a time. The batter will start out thick and lumpy and a metal whisk helps to smooth out those lumps. This is why I like to use a big bowl. As you start to vigorously beat this batter, it could spill out of the bowl. You can also use your stand mixer for this process, especially if you're doubling or tripling this batch. It's important to add the water a little bit at a time, otherwise it would be very hard to get rid of the lumps. The batter looks smooth now, so I'm going to add two eggs and I'm going to beat this in one at a time and incorporate after each addition. Add a teaspoon of sugar and beat this again. Now even if this looks smooth, it's really a good idea to strain your batter to catch any lumps or any leftover eggshells. I'm going to whisk the flour that gets caught in the strainer I'm just going to use a little bit more water to free it. Your batter should have the consistency of milk. I've organized all my stuff as I'm going to have to work really fast. I have a tea towel, a small non-stick pan. I only use these for crepes. I have some oil, a little bit of that leftover water. 
I've got my batter ready and a measuring cup. Add a bit of oil to a hot pan and I'm using a measuring cup as my ladle. I'm going to add the batter in quickly and I'm going to swirl it to coat. My first or even second rib will never turn out well, but I will get there eventually. This needs to be just very lightly cooked on one side and it doesn't need to be flipped. When this is cooked, I'm just going to turn it over on my kitchen towel and I'm going to start on the next one. I'm just going to straighten out this crepe and keep going. As the crepes cool, I'm going to stack them one on top of the other. Remember when you're cooking these crepes, you're looking for a light golden brown. It should still be soft and slightly sticky. Add water to your batter in between if it starts to thicken. about 18 to 20 crepes. It's now time to fill these, lay down the crepe and add the filling. Fold it over from the top, the sides and just roll it to seal. Now some people like to stuff their crepes with a lot of filling so I'm going to do some of these first. Personally, I prefer smaller ones with less filling. I feel two teaspoons is plenty. This filling should be enough for 18 crepes if you use two teaspoons of filling in each. I'm going to move some of these aside to make some more room to roll. Now I'm just going to keep on rolling these. Filled with a sweet toffee-like coconut and nutty filling, this is ready to eat. joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for Ale Bele. If you're making this for Pancake Tuesday, I wish you a blessed Lent. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, guys. I upload new videos every week. Do share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. Also ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. And follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time, happy eating. Take care, guys. Bye. So good. That's so good.